Hi friends, Teacher Jen here and Maxi. You may be wondering what today's story is about. Well, I figured since this weekend is going to be a special weekend, can you guess what you guys will be celebrating possibly over the weekend? That's right, maybe you'll go on a bunny hop or a egg hunt with mom or dad or your brother and your sister. So I figured today it would be fun to read the story of Tiny, the California Easter Bunny. Are you guys ready? I think Maxie is. <laughs> she doesn't look too happy with your ears, but she's ready. Okay, here we go. Tiny, the California Easter Bunny. Wait a minute, is that a bunny? Hmm. Tiny the California Easter Bunny. The words are written by Eric James, that's the author. The pictures are illustrated by Sarah Sanchez. One bright Easter morning, while out for a jog, Tiny hears, help, I am stuck in a log. He scratches his head, thinking, who could that be? It sounded like fluff. I had better go see. Fluff's in a log with her feet in the air. Hey, Fluff, what on earth are you doing in there? A sad little voice from an echoey space says, I thought this would make a good egg hiding place. You poor Easter bunny, says Tiny while giggling. I'll get you back out. Just hold tight and stop wriggling. Tiny pulls hard using all of his might. He tries and he tries, but his friend is stuck tight. My eggs, sighs poor Fluff, who will deliver them now. I'll do it, says Tiny. Fluff laughs and asks how. Don't worry, dear Fluff, leave it all up to me. I watched you last Easter, how hard can it be? This bunny looks funny. Yes, something is wrong. His feet are too big and his nose is too long. His skin isn't furry, it's wrinkled and rough. His tail is too thin and it's not made of fluff. He's traveled through Napa and Long Beach already. He's all out of puff and his legs feel unsteady. Uh-oh. Is he having a hard time? Oh, no. He hops, then he stops, then he hops a bit more, then he stops all the hopping and flops to the floor. Hello, squeaks a mouse in his fake bunny ear. Oh my, have you grown since I met you last year? I'm Marvin, remember? You're running quite late. I'll help if you like. Tiny nods and says, oh, great. They head down to Buena Park, rush through the streets, delivering handfuls of chocolatey treats. Then Sacramento, Pasadena, Santa Monica too. They're not, there's not too much time left, but there's so much to do. Speed up, Marvin squeaks, or we'll finish too late. <gasps> Dig under that hedge and hop over that gate. This is San Francisco house. The San Francisco house has a fence all around. Poor Tiny tries digging down into the ground. Do elephants dig, friends? Hmm. But the hole is too small, or his body's too big. How odd, Marvin thinks. I thought bunnies could dig. This Bakersfield house has a really high wall. Jump up, Marvin squeaks. Come on, give it your all. So Tiny jumps up, but comes down with a thump. How odd, Marvin thinks. I thought bunnies could jump. Is he really a bunny, friends? 
There's something not right, Marvin says. Let me see. He scratches his chin and thinks, hmm, what can it be? You're not very fast. Well, just look at those legs. You're not very careful. You've cracked half the eggs. You do not have whiskers. You, you're no good at hopping. Those ears look quite fake and there's that's no bunny dropping. Aha, now I've got it. He jumps to his toes. No bunny is born with a trunk for a nose. Tiny starts crying. He wails, yes, it's true. I thought I could do the things real bunnies do. Don't worry, it's fine, Marvin squeaks, being nice. Do you mind if I offer a little advice? You need to start using the talents you've got. Be proud to be you. Don't be something you're not. How's Tiny the elephant feeling, friends? It's not very happy, huh? But Marvin is trying to make him feel better. What talent, says Tiny. What things can I do? He blows his nose and then, uh, uh, too. Eureka squeaks Marvin from high in a tree. That wonderful big chunky nose is the key. It's strong and it's long. It can pick things up too. It's perfect for seeing this Easter job through. We'll put it to work just as soon as we can. Let's head on to Fresno and test out this plan. This house has a fence and this has a wall, but with Tiny's big nose, there's no problem at all. His long nose lifts up, reaches over the top, and he drops an egg down on the lawn with a plop. And look at the hole in this fence. That'll do. There's room for an egg and a trunk to fit through. Now the job seems quite easy. Well, that's how it goes when an elephant uses his brains and his nose. But daylight is breaking, the sun starts to rise, and home after home stands in front of their eyes. I don't think we'll make it, squeaks Marvin. Oh dear, hang on, Tiny shouts. I have a marvelous idea. What do you think? How is Tiny going to solve this problem? They have all these houses they still need to deliver eggs to. Hmm, what will Tiny do? Let's see. He sucks all the Easter eggs into his nose, and when his trunk's full, he takes aim, then he blows. Look at those eggs blasting out of his trunk, landing on lawns with a thunk, 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 thunk. The basket's soon empty. We did it, hooray! Come on, let's help Fluff. Oh, I hope she's okay. Hey, Fluff, Easter saved. I will get you out now. Thank you, shouts Fluff, but you'll get me out how? Hmm. At the side of the pond, Tiny dips in his trunk. He drinks and he drinks so the water's all drunk. And using his nose as a huge water hose, he blows through the log. Look at Fluff. Up she goes. She comes out of the log, finally. Happy Easter, California. Happy Blaney Hop, friends. And you guys can see how many Easter eggs are in this picture. You guys can take a look. Hmm. Can you see it? There are five. Let's count them. One. Two. See, that one hiding behind the leaf. Three, four, the squirrel has that one. And last one, five, the birdie has it. And that was the story of Tiny, the California Easter Bunny. And I think my doggie decided she didn't want to be the bunny either. <laughs> that she was a doggie just like Tiny realized he's an elephant and he had really great powers too by using his trunk to deliver the eggs. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Um, and I hope that you get to have a bunny hop of your own at home. Uh, along with the YouTube video, I've posted some links 
of how to have a glow-in-the-dark bunny hunt or egg hunt uh, with your family at home. So I hope you